Underground Gaming, and the division is freaking here. We've all been playing it. You guys have been playing it. Now it's time for us to give you guys our review and impressions of the game. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I just want to talk about some of the things that I dislike about the game. Um, first and foremost, I, the, the cu character customization in the game to me was absolutely terrible. Um, there's a bunch of, not even a bunch, but a few preset faces. And depending on which one you choose, you may get some different hairstyles. Um, and then you can throw some tattoos and maybe a couple piercings. But that was pretty much it. And to me, whenever you play a game like Division or Destiny or Fallout, uh, any of those type of games, one of the first things that kind of sets the tone for the game is the ability to customize your character. And that just was not really there for us. So um, that was something that really, really disappointed me. Uh, I know that you guys have been talking about the uh, graphics and the fidelity of the game and just how it didn't look anything like it did in E3. But come on. I mean, at this point, uh, it's 2016. And that's kind of to be expected. I mean, they, they've pulled that trick a few times with a bunch of different games. So I didn't really expect it to look that good. Um, and, I, and not that the game looks really bad. It, it actually isn't a terrible looking game, but it doesn't look like what they showed us at E3. So again, that's to be expected. Uh, I'm not really disappointed by that because I expected that. Uh, the other thing that really annoys me about Division is sometimes the enemies can absorb an absurd amount of bullets. Uh, just to a point where it gets really, really frustrating and you run out of ammo and it's just something that I think they, they may want to look at tweaking just a little bit. Um, the other thing, too, is just that there's not a whole lot of explanation um, for the player progression. Uh, honestly, going into the game, I didn't know a whole lot about talents and perks and um, all these things that they just really did not do a really good job of explaining. Maybe they did, but like I said, it just was not the best job ever um, in explaining and making that really clear to the player. So I think that's something that they may want to touch up a little bit, maybe through an update or something like that for players who are a little bit late to the game uh, to kind of uh, make up for us who've already gotten the game and uh, maybe just missed out on a little bit of that knowledge. So that's that. And then, you know what, uh, just to hit one more point, the story. Um, so, so far, I haven't finished the story yet, but so far what I've played, it just has not really grabbed me. Um, but I think it's okay so far just because the game itself isn't bad. But the story is definitely not something that uh, it's going to just jump out and grab you. So, with that being said, let's talk about the things that I do like about the game. So, number one, there's a freaking huge map and just a vast array of different things to do and areas to explore. I still haven't explored the entire map, and to me, that is just a huge, huge bonus. Um, the game reminds me a lot of Destiny, and one of the things that I disliked about Destiny was the lack of content. So, the fact that there is just so much to do in this game uh, really gives me hope for the future as long as they keep on coming out with content and expansions. Uh, the Dark Zone. Uh, the Dark Zone is probably the best and my favorite part of the game. It's where players go to nut up or shut up. And basically, you know, you go on with your crew and it, it's probably um, just the highlight of the entire game. So you're always watching your back. You got NPCs coming after you. You got rogue agents to be worried about. It's just a really fun experience. I think it's something that really, really sets the game apart from other games. So that's one of my favorite parts. The game mechanics also are very fluid. Uh, they flow well with the ecosystem of the division. Um, I never really feel like I'm detached from the game. Uh, the only problem I have is is using uh, the circle button to uh, jump over objects, and I find that sometimes you can use the X button as well to vault over objects, and sometimes I accidentally vault over and end up in the middle of fire. So that's just a little annoyance, but other than that, I think the game mechanics are very fluid. Um, and, and very intuitive and they work well with the game. And then Division, for me, one of the, the other pluses, the bigger pluses about the game is how tactical the game is. So suppression and uh, utilization of different player skills and the different weapon weaponry that you can get in the game um, really makes this game fun to play. Uh, you can be playing with a group of guys and maybe one of the guys have like a, a machine gun and he's got the enemies suppressed and so your buddy can sneak around and, and hit him with a couple shotgun shells. So, you know, I think that um, 
it's a it's really tactical at times, especially when you start getting to the higher levels. And it really makes for some interesting, uh, fun firefights. And they're definitely, especially if you play the game on hard, which I hope that you guys have done, because it's definitely uh, much different from playing those missions or normal. But if you play those missions on hard, it, it definitely makes for a very tough, fun firefight. So all in all, I think that uh, given everything that I've said about the game, uh, we actually got a chance to play the Division uh, in the closed beta and the open beta. So uh, we, we were really familiar with the game and the mechanics and things like that going into the launch day. So I think that uh, this game is, is a solid four out of five. If you're worried about whether or not to buy the game, I'd say it's definitely worth it, especially if they keep the content rolling. It's a great experience, especially if you got guys to play with uh, or girls, uh, but basically if you have a crew to, to run with in the game, it, it's definitely worth the money. So that's it. Four out of five for The Division. Black Soul Bonus Round Gaming signing out. Peace. Yeah.